The last two times that I cleaned ashes out of the Woodmaster 4400 outdoor wood burner, uh, I usually use this metal garbage can. And the last two times, there were more ashes than what could fit in this garbage can. So I ended up not being able to take out as much ash as I wanted to. So for the last two times, uh, it's kind of been building up in there more and more. So today I'm gonna to do something that I usually don't do. I'm gonna clean out almost all of the ashes, almost all of the coals. I'm gonna clean everything out. I'm gonna dump it out here in the tractor bucket. That way it should allow me to get a couple of those worth, a couple uh, garbage cans worth of ashes cleaned out. Normally what I do is I just fill this up I put the lid on, I let it sit for three, three to five days, and then you know, and by the next week I end up doing it again. But for the last two times, like I mentioned, there's more ashes that were in the wood burner than that would fit in the garbage can. So today I'm going to take as much out as I can, probably clean it down to almost nothing. Uh, and I might end up just leaving, if there's some decent coals in there, I might end up leaving them in there. I might work around them but I just wanna get as much ash cleaned out as I can. So let's take a look and see what's inside. I haven't refilled this. This has been burning since last night around 9.30, 10 o'clock, and now it's almost one or two in the afternoon, so I have let it burn down as much as I can. So let's take a look inside. It is almost at ready, to, uh, ready for the blower to kick on. If we drop two more degrees, so there may be a little smoke in here. Maybe not. So most of the wood has burned down. There's just, there's a lot of ashes like back, way in the back. And normally I always pull the ashes and everything forward as I load it. And I've just, I've allowed this to build up. So now, time to clean it out. I'm going to try to save some of those coals and see if I can't keep a good part of them in there. But if not, they're all coming out. Well, they're not all coming out. <laughs> Most of them are coming out. So there is one half, pretty much one side cleaned out. And, and there goes the blower. I am actually going to shut this off. No sense in having that run while I'm doing this, but so you can see one half is cleaned out and that is a full garbage can full. So this is why, like I mentioned in the beginning, the past few times I've taken one garbage can out and that, that much ash and cold have been left over. So let's get this dumped out and then we'll take out another one. And yes, as you can see, winter has returned here to West Central Wisconsin.
All right, the second barrel is out. Look at this. It's like creosote that just starts bubbling up. Probably can't see it now, but there's a couple clumps over there. There is definitely a little buildup in the bottom. Here you can really see it. This whole great big piece of like tar with all one big hunk of creosote built up on the bottom. There's another bunch right here. I was kind of scraping it off the bottom in the back and then I would just bring it out here and dump it right in this bucket. And what's left on the inside now is a nice small little pile of coals. I will I actually have to bring wood in, but I'm going to throw what's left in this tote inside there, turn the blower back on, and we should be good to go. And one big piece for the top. Whew. All right, we'll turn the blower back on. Now you may be wondering about the creosote that I pulled out with the ashes and then the creosote buildup that's on the walls and the door. And that is just something that happens because of the way this system works. When the water temperature reaches 170, the fire basically gets cut off of air. The blower stops. And so the, what's left inside the firebox is a low smoldering you know, smoke. That's, that's where creosote is built up. Um, there's not much you can really do about it. I could possibly burn uh, those creosote remover log things, but just because of the way that this cycles with air being forced in, fire burning, fire smoldering, fire burning, fire smoldering, back and forth, back and forth, that almost like cold smoke inside there is what builds up the creosote. Oh yeah, so we are back burning, no problem. What's in there now should last until this evening when I need to come out and fill it up. And now because I need to actually put the forks on to go bring two more totes of wood in, I think I'm just gonna unhook this bucket and let it sit.
don't count on that. 